Hi students, in this video we are going to discuss somewhat students will feel a difficult topic uh, that is a P problems and NP problems. What is a P and what is a NP that we will discuss. Before going to that, we are going to discuss if you consider a problem, if you consider a problem, so this problem can be solved generally in two ways. Second, first one, second one. If a problem is there, so then that problem you can solve in two ways. That solution, that means that problem solution can be solved in polynomial time. And another one is some problems are not solved in polynomial time. Okay. That you can say it as non-polynomial time. Non-polynomial time or it is called as exponential time. So I am repeating the point. If you have a problem so that problem or you have so many problems okay so those problems can be solved some problems are solved in polynomial time some problems are solved in non polynomial time that non polynomial time is called as exponential time okay so now example problems here problems are nothing but algorithms okay Example algorithms or problems which takes a polynomial time are some searching techniques and sorting techniques. Okay, searching techniques uh, that may be linear or binary sorting techniques. So you are having number of uh, sorting techniques. Anyway, for this uh, the time complexities are like order of n it may have order of log n for binary search order of n square order of n log n like that searching techniques and sorting techniques n power 1 log n n square n log n so these complexities are nothing but polynomial time complexities these algorithms are solved in polynomial time these are the examples searching techniques and sorting techniques okay next coming to second type of algorithms which are unable to solve in polynomial time listen this carefully some algorithms are unable to solve in polynomial time so that means exponential time what are the examples so the examples here are traveling salesperson problem. Traveling salesperson problem. Actually this, we, this problem we will get in dynamic programming concept. Okay. So uh, I will uh, explain this one also. Okay. Traveling salesperson problem which this algorithm is taking n square 2 power n or you can say it as order of 2 power n into n square okay so now here this is here it is called as exponential time that means this is not this problem or this algorithm is not solved in polynomial time. That's why these are called as exponential time algorithms or non-polynomial algorithms. Okay. Why? Because so these are called as linear or not only linear. Here we will call it as polynomial time. These are called as polynomial time complexity algorithms. These are non-polynomial complexity algorithms okay 
uh, it doesn't mean that uh, non polynomial means np some another logic is that what is mean by np that uh, i will explain i think it is clear there are two problems one is polynomial time solution problems and another one is you can solve in exponential time polynomial time examples such in technique sorting techniques non polynomial time examples traveling sales person problem now now what is p and what is np simple definition for p and np p and np okay so p is nothing but a solution a solution can be solved deterministically deterministically in polynomial time deterministically in polynomial time that is a p problem that means in a simple manner you can say like a, a, a problem which is taking the polynomial time complexity is called as a p problems so this you are getting polynomial time so by using deterministic algorithm by using deterministic algorithm okay so by using this deterministic algorithm the problems are solved or a solution you are getting in polynomial time then those problems are called as p problems if a solution can be solved or an algorithm can be solved or a problem can be solved deterministically in polynomial time is nothing but p problems now what is np problems np problem is not solved in polynomial time okay not solved in polynomial time that means not solved in polynomial time not solved in polynomial time means what does it mean so exponential time which means exponential time what is the meaning of exponential time what are the algorithms used here so to solve these type of problems non deterministic algorithms are used to solve this non deterministic algorithms are used okay so not polynomial time okay so not solved in polynomial time okay but can be verified in polynomial time verified in polynomial time okay so np problems are not solved p problems are solved in polynomial time np problems are not solved in polynomial time so i already explained if it is not taking polynomial time then another one is non polynomial time non polynomial time is nothing but exponential time okay so this is exponential time so and you are getting a solution by using non deterministic algorithms this is to get a solution non deterministic algorithms but they can be verified in polynomial time okay i think it is clear the difference between p problems and np problems okay so that means what does it mean here it is main point here it is not solved in polynomial time okay here what is meant by n and what is mean by p here n is nothing but what non deterministic algorithm n stands for here non deterministic not non polynomial generally this you can say that uh, non n for non p for polynomial no that is not the case n means non deterministic algorithm is used to solve the problem and can be verified in 
polynomial time can be verified in polynomial time okay that means that means some other person may give the solution for you are not solving so if solution is given by using some non deterministic algorithm you can get or you can verify that solution in polynomial time okay that means it is not faster so here uh, i said the polynomial time and non polynomial time polynomial time algorithms are fast non polynomial algorithms are not fast why because these are exponential time complexities okay so that is your np problem so p problems and np problems now what is the relation between p and np why madam p problems and np problems is there any relation between these two algorithms or these two types of solutions yes you have the relation the relation here it is see initially initially all our problems only all our problems only there is no solution for all those problems okay so then those are called as np problems later on scientists designed some algorithms or they have calculated the answer and these np problems are becoming p problems okay so p is subset or equal to np p is subset or equal to np okay so initially all problems are under the category np but of no but for some problems so today we are not having any solutions for all the problems but tomorrow or oh, some problems that can be solved those will become this polynomial time np and p that means p is what p is a subset or equal to np this is the basic idea of p problems and np problems and the examples hope you understand students so please share with your friends so why because most of the students will get confused in this p problems and np problems so please share with your friends so that they can easily learn this one okay if you have still any doubt uh, please uh, send me your doubt in the comment box thank you students have a great day bye